Hello guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to run Windows 11 operating system directly from a USB flash drive. For this setup, you need USB 3.0 pen drive so it can work perfectly without lagging. You can install and use Windows 11 just like a regular operating system, allowing you to save files, browse the internet and everyday tasks seamlessly. Stick around to learn how to set it up and get Windows 11 running from your USB drive. Setting this up is quick and straightforward. First, open your browser and visit the website. Scroll down and look for Haslio Winter USB. This is the tool we'll be using to install Windows 11 onto a USB flash drive. Go ahead and download Winter USB, but keep in mind that the free version has some limitations, which I'll point out during the setup process. Next, we need to download the Windows 11 ISO file from Microsoft's official website. I've included links in my video description. Scroll down and locate the Windows 11 disk image ISO file section. In drop down, select Windows 11 and click download now button. Then select your preferred product language. Then click the download button to start downloading the file. Once both files are downloaded, navigate to the downloads folder where they are saved. Install the Wintel USB application, which enables us to run a live Windows 11 operating system from a USB flash drive. Follow the on-screen instructions to install the Wintel USB application into your computer. Click Finish to launch the Hasleo Winter USB application. Once opened, you'll see three options. Windows to go USB creates a fully portable Windows environment that runs directly from a USB drive. Windows installation USB prepares a bootable USB drive for installing Windows on a computer. Bootable WinPE USB generates a bootable USB drive using a WinPE ISO for system recovery or troubleshooting. For this tutorial, we'll be selecting the Windows to go USB option to install a fully functional portable version of Windows 11 on our USB drive. In the select installation source section, click browse image file and locate the Windows 11 ISO file. Then choose the Windows edition you want to install. Make sure to select Windows Home Edition as the professional and education versions have limitations in the free version of this tool. If you need those additions, you'll need to purchase the full version of the software. Next, on the destination drive, select your USB flash drive. For the partition scheme, choose MBR for BIOS and under installation mode, select Legacy. Once everything is set, click proceed to begin the installation. The installation process will now begin, setting up Windows as a Windows to go system on your USB flash drive. This process may take some time, so patience is key. It might seem like it's stuck at 0% for a while, but once it moves forward, you'll notice data being written to your USB drive. This is why using a high speed USB 3.0 or higher is crucial. Slower flash drives can drastically increase installation time and impact performance. Once the installation reaches 100%, your USB drive is now ready for Windows 11 live booting. Now restart your computer. After restarting your computer, access the BIOS settings by pressing the designated key during startup, commonly F2 for Lenovo, F12 or F10 for HP and Dell systems. Once in the BIOS, navigate to the boot order settings and prioritize your USB drive as the primary boot device. This ensures the system boots from the USB drive before the internal hard drive. Remember to save your changes before exiting the BIOS.
The system will now begin booting from the USB flash drive. This process may take some time as Windows finalizes the setup, prepares necessary files, and creates user accounts. You might see a message indicating that the system is getting things ready. This is completely normal. During this process, your system may restart multiple times, so be patient and follow the on-screen instructions as needed. Once everything is set up, Windows should boot quickly, allowing you to use it without any issues. Just sit tight and let the process complete. Windows is now finalizing the setup, treating your USB flash drive like a regular hard drive. Just like a standard Windows installation, it prepares system files and settings. However, since this is running from a USB drive, the process may take a little longer, so be patient. Once you've completed the on-screen steps, Windows 11 will be fully functional on your USB drive. You'll now have access to the Windows 11 desktop, complete with live internet connectivity and all essential features. After completing the installation process, you will see the Windows 11 desktop fully operational, running directly from your USB flash drive. If you open File Explorer, you'll notice that the only available drive is your USB flash drive. This means your internal hard drive remains untouched, ensuring that all your existing data is safe. Since you're running Windows entirely from the USB, you won't be able to access files from your main system unless you boot back into it. And that's it. You now have a portable Windows 11 setup that you can take anywhere. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.